Welcome to a fascinating look at the incredible world of food manufacturing are transformed into the products we love, all thanks to advanced technology and careful processes. So let's dive into the amazing stories behind some of your favorite foods. Get ready as you're about to witness the large-scale sugar production you might have never seen before. Let's get started already, the sweet journey of sugar and caramelized nuts. Making sugar from sugar beets is a fascinating process that helps us understand how our food is made today. It all begins on farms where farmers plant sugar beets. These beets are crucial because they account for about 20% of the sugar used worldwide. Sugar beets are special vegetables that grow best in specific types of soil. The farmers have to choose the right land to plant them. They need to ensure the soil has the right nutrients for the beets to thrive. Just like any other plant, sugar beets depend on good soil conditions to grow strong and healthy. In addition to good soil, sugar beets also need a lot of water. This is very important because water helps the plants grow. Farmers often use irrigation systems to provide extra water, especially when there isn't enough rainfall. This way, the beets get the moisture they need to develop properly. Once the sugar beets are ready to be harvested, it's time to gather them from the fields. Farmers use big machines to dig them up from the ground. They collect the beets and take them to factories where the real sugar making process begins. At the factory, the first step is to wash the sugar beets. This is important because the beets can have dirt and other impurities on them. After washing, the beets are sliced into small pieces to prepare them for the next stage. The sliced beets are then put into hot water, which helps to extract the sugar. This process dissolves the sugar from the beet slices into the water, creating a sugary liquid. After that, the liquid goes through several steps to make it purer and remove any remaining bits from the beets. Finally, the sugary liquid is turned into sugar crystals through a process of boiling and drying. The sugar crystals are then separated, packaged, and sent out to stores where we can buy them for our homes. This entire journey shows us how something as simple as sugar requires a lot of work and many steps to reach our tables. Making sugar from sugar beets is an important agricultural process that involves careful farming and factory work. Understanding how sugar is made helps us appreciate the hard work that goes into producing the foods we enjoy every day. When it's time to harvest, the beets are pulled from the ground and taken to a factory. At the factory, the first step is to weigh them to know how much they've grown. After weighing, the beets are cleaned carefully to remove any dirt or impurities. This ensures that only the best quality beets are used for making sugar. The next part of the process involves slicing the beets into thin pieces. This is done to help extract the sugar more easily. Think of it like cutting a fruit into smaller pieces to get more juice out of it. One slice, the bead pieces are soaked in hot water, much like how you brew tea with hot water to make it sweet. After soaking, the water absorbs the sugar from the beets, creating a sweet juice. But what happens to the leftover pieces of beet? They aren't wasted. Instead, the leftover pulp is recycled and turned into animal feed, which is used to feed livestock. Next, the sweet juice goes through a process called evaporation. This means that the extra water is removed from the juice, which makes it thicker, kind of like how syrup is made. The thick, sweet liquid is a big step closer to becoming the sugar we use every day. Once the juice has been thickened, it is spun in special machines called centrifuges. These machines help separate the solid sugar crystals from the liquid part, which is known as molasses. The result of this spinning process is the sweet white sugar crystals we all recognize. The molasses left behind is not thrown away either, it can be used in baking or other foods. This recycling of materials shows how efficient the sugar making process is. Everything is used in some way, which is great for the environment. After all these steps, the sugar is packaged and sent to stores where we can buy it. So next time you enjoy something sweet, remember the journey that sugar takes from the farm to your table. It's a fascinating process that transforms 
simple beets into the delicious sugar we use in so many foods. Sugar is a key ingredient in treats like caramelized nuts. To make them, nuts are roasted to enhance their flavor, then coated in a thick caramel made from heated sugar and corn syrup, resulting in a crunchy and sweet snack. Making the iconic Butterfinger, the Butterfinger Bar is another product that relies on this precise manufacturing process. Its creation starts with peanuts, which are grown in the peanut belt of the United States. Only the highest grade peanuts are selected. After being roasted to intensify their flavor, their thin skins are removed. The peanuts are then ground into a smooth, creamy peanut butter. This is not the same kind of peanut butter you find in a jar. It's a specific, less refined version designed for this candy bar. The Butterfinger candy bar has an interesting process for making its tasty treat. One of the main ingredients is sugar, which comes from a plant called sugar beet. This sugar is important because it helps create the sweet and crunchy texture that we all love in a Butterfinger. To start making the candy, the sugar is mixed with corn syrup. This mixture is heated up until it becomes hot and bubbly. This heating process helps to make the sugar sticky and gives it the crunchy texture that is a signature of Butterfinger bars. Once the mixture is heated, it's time to add in the special peanut butter. This peanut butter is different from what you might spread on your toast. It's a special kind that's perfect for making candy. The mixture of sugar and peanut butter is cooked together and then cooled down so, so that it can be shaped easily. After the mixture has cooled, it travels along conveyor belts. These are long, moving surfaces that help carry things from one place to another. As the mixture moves along, it is cut into small pieces to form the crunchy peanut centers that will make up the inside of each Butterfinger bar. Next is the exciting part where the bars get their chocolate coating. The cut peanut pieces are sent to a machine called an enrobing machine. What this machine does is coat each piece in warm, melted chocolate. This chocolate covers every part of the candy to make sure it tastes delicious all the way through. Once the chocolate coating is on, the finished Butterfinger bars need to cool down again. This helps the chocolate solidify and gives the bars a nice, smooth finish. After they are completely cooled, the bars are then packaged up for everyone to enjoy. The Butterfinger candy bar is a tasty treat that combines the sweetness of sugar, the crunchiness of peanut butter, and a rich layer of chocolate. This delightful mix creates a unique flavor that many people love. The process of making a Butterfinger is designed to make sure that every bite is packed with fun and deliciousness, making it a popular choice for candy lovers everywhere. Every step in crafting a Butterfinger is focused on creating that perfect combination of flavors and textures. From the sweet crunchy peanut butter core to the smooth chocolate coating, each ingredient plays an important role in making this candy bar special. That's how your favorite Butterfinger is made, delivering a joyful experience with every bite. The creation of food, from a simple slice of bread to a complex candy bar, is a testament to how modern technology has revolutionized the industry. Automation and precision ensure that every product, whether it's a fluffy pancake, a perfectly filled soda can, or a crispy omelet, meets high standards of quality and taste. This level of dedication and care, from the farms to the factories, is what makes our food so enjoyable and reliable. Hey, are you enjoying this video? Stay tuned because you never know what's coming ahead. But yeah, I can assure you it's going to be wonderful moments of entertainment. So don't forget to support us with your love as you always have been doing and I am so, so grateful for that.